Hello YouTube, thanks for tuning in, hope you're having a good day and this is my 4K uh, Blu-ray wish list of 2024 films that I think deserve a restoration, films that I think deserve great packaging as in special features, postcards, soundtracks would be great, why don't they put soundtracks in, it'd be fantastic because some of these films just have fantastic scores and we want soundtracks. If you're like me and love movies, you love soundtracks, it's part of the film. So yeah, let's go for it soundtracks <laughs> yeah so let's start the first one these are what i mean about 4k is the 4k uk blu-rays i know some kino lorber's got one shout factory but this is region b i'm on about uk releases stuff that we can get in the uk at amazon and hmv and ebay etc and this is an absolute masterpiece a 4k with this would look woo, i i can't can't believe it hasn't got one it's unbelievable it's from 1968 it's two hours and 50 five minutes of sheer joy cinematography is beautiful the music incredible once upon a time in the west oof, my god deserves it oh horror classic here which i absolutely adore from 1976 it's one hour 51 minutes and it's the omen mainly the original i do love two and three though the trilogy i love the trilogy but mainly the first one it's absolutely fantastic the blu-ray ain't too bad on picture quality but as you see, the special features are lacking, there's not much on it, you know what I mean? But, yeah, the Omen would look fantastic on 4K. Woo! Oh, another one of my favourites here. This is, Mars Attacks is from 1996, it's 1 hour 45, uh, 46 minutes, and it's fantastic. The colours in here would look incredible. I mean, look at the cast. Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson as the president. Let's, we're in. Glenn Close, Annette Benning, Pierce Brosnan, Dan DeVito, the list goes on. It would look fantastic. Tim Burton's film. It's not a favourite Tim Burton. It goes Batman 89, Returns, and then Mars Attacks. But this would look fantastic in 4K. It really would. Oh, yeah. Another one I adore. 1960, 1 hour 43 minutes, and it's The Time Machine. H.G. Wells, starring Rod Taylor. As a sci-fi classic that it is, it's got the HMV Premium. Why has it got no blu uh, 4K premium? Don't know. This ain't too bad. Pitch quality is all right, but the 4K would be absolutely fantastic. Let's have the soundtracks all right as well. I really like the soundtrack. Rod Taylor's incredible in this. Always love this. Sci-fi classic. Oh, biblical, biblical epic here. And it is King of Kings. It hasn't even got a UK Blu-ray release. I've had to buy the foreign one. Incredible. It's one of the best films that has ever been made Jeffrey Hunter as Jesus is spellbinding is incredible it's from now uh, where we go let's have a look at my list 1961 it's two hours and 48 minutes of sheer absolute joy to watch it is fantastic King of Kings love it oh this would look fantastic in 4k the colors the tunics everything about it Zulu from 1968 it's two hours and 18 minutes and it is just Stanley Baker Jack Hawkins Michael Caine it's just brilliant Zulu is an absolute fantastic film narrated by Richard Burton music's incredible a 4k with this yes now this would look incredible in 4k because it's black and white and it's Christmas Carol Scrooge and it's from 1951 it's one hour and 26 minutes and it's black and white but look what they did to it. it's a wonderful life it's a wonderful life looks incredible on 4k 4k so does Psycho so this needs a serious restoration we haven't even got a UK Blu-ray, it's German or foreign, don't know, but we need an absolute, per let's go for it on this one. This will look fantastic, especially at Christmas time. Oh, brilliant. Oh, love this since I was a kid. It's from 1979, one hour, 55 minutes, teen angst film. What's it like to be a teen? It's the ultimate teen film. Quadrophenia is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, it looks good because it's got scooters and everything, and I've got three scooters myself. This is what got me into scooters. I've got three Vespa scooters, and this film I've watched so many times. It's one of my most watched films I've ever watched. This and Jaws has got to be one of the most. Quadrophenia is beautiful. The soundtrack by Pete Townsend is an absolute masterpiece. Pete, Towns, Pete Townsend's best music he's ever done. It's incredible, Quadrophenia is. Oh, I love Quadrophenia. The DVD was shit. The, full, uh, the VHS was shit. The Blu-ray ain't much better. Let's have a proper restoration on Quadrophenia. Please. Oh, from 1968, Charlton Aston, 1 hour 52 minutes. The original Planet of the Apes. Absolutely fantastic. Sci-fi classic. 
no 4K Blu-ray, it's criminal. It really is. And what we got here? We got the five movie collection and it's got Planet of the Apes, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Escape from Planet of the Apes, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, Battle from Planet of the Apes. They're all fantastic. The original's a masterpiece. Ooh, this would look awesome in 4K, really would. This is in everyone's list. Let's be honest, 1984, Nightmare on Elm Street. <coughs> Sorry about that, I needed a cough. Uh, yeah, it's Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's, everyone's talked about it. Let's have a 4K of it this year. It's 40 years this year, anniversary. Let's go for it. 4K would look beautiful. My favorites are the original, part three, part two. The others, yeah, they mindle in into each other really. But I love the original, absolutely fantastic. Nightmare on Elm Street. And we're gonna go into the honorable mentions now. Honourable mentions is the Dirty Harry films would look incredible. A box set of these, like they've done with these Blu-rays. These Blu-rays ain't too bad. But there's, I mean, the special features are lacking. There's nothing inside it. They're all just Blu-rays rammed in there. You know what I mean? They could do special features. The music's good as well. Uh, yeah, my favourite's Dirty Harry, the original. It's got the best villain you're ever going to see in your life. Scorpio is just incredible. Yeah, so the Dirty Harry collection. Second honourable mention, uh, Four Feathers by Alexander Corder. John Clements is one of my favourite films. And this would look incredible. The battle scenes would look incredible in 4K. There's not many special features at all. Look at that. Pitiful for this masterpiece of a film. Pitiful. Another one of my favourite films which look incredible, The Count of Monte Cristo, Donald Pleasance, Richard Chamberlain, Tony Curtis. What a film this is. One of the ultimate revenge films, one of the ultimate prison break films. Richard Chamberlain, man, he's just incredible in this. Martin Scorsese's his masterpiece, if you ask me, one of his best films. I can't believe this hasn't got a 4K. Well, it has, because it's in the Columbia Classics box set, but not an individual one, especially in the UK. Taxi Driver's fantastic. Music's incredible. Robert De Niro's fantastic. Can't keep your eyes off him. Unbelievable. Oh, great musical. Absolutely fantastic musical. Chichi Chichi Bang Bang. This would look incredible on 4K. The colours would absolutely pop like hell. Stars the great Dick Van Dyke, Sally Ann Howes, Lionel Jeffries. What a musical Chichi Chichi Bang Bang is. It's in the top five. It's incredible. Oh, Sally Ann Howes and Dick, Dick Van Dyke in this are just spellbinding. What another one of my favourite musicals which would look absolutely fantastic and a proper restoration and a proper box set would be fantastic of this fiddler on the roof topol in this is a master class in acting a master class if you ever see if you've never seen fiddle on the roof it is a masterpiece that's a, i'm going that far i absolutely love fiddler on the roof topol in this is incredible Abs oh i know it's got the song i wish i, I wish i was a rich man it ain't just that man it, it, it's oh it's got more than that it's got some great songs it's got great heart it is fantastic and would look fantastic in 4K. Whew. They're my honourable mentions. They're the ones I want on 4K. Please do it. Keep me happy. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, do all that business. Comments are great. Love your comments. What do you think about some of these? A lot of these nostalgia. Yeah, but they're bloody great films. And uh, yeah, what else can I say? Keep watching movies and cheers for watching.